Hey guys, Clarice here, and today we are watching the newest Wonka movie. It just came out on digital, so I thought that it would be fun for you guys, given that I've already reacted to the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and the 2004 Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've had a great time with them, and I know next to nothing about the story that's going on in Wonka. So I've gotten my musical theater on, I've got a very festive look that was inspired by the Wonka film, and I am genuinely looking forward to watching this. So so with that, I am Clarice here on this channel. We watch movies and talk about them. If you guys are interested in further supporting, you can like and subscribe to the video to check out more great content. And if you want even further support, you can check out my full length reactions by signing up for my Patreon. Over there, I even have a personalized film request here where if you ever wanted your very own Clarice reaction to a movie that's probably obscure and that I'm likely never going to do, you can check it out. Slots are still available and you can get your very own Clarice reaction. So I've got my musical theater on already. Ready. I know that Timmy Chalamet is about to show us his musical theater kid side, so I'm ready to let it all out and let's get into it. Got a tattered overcoat and battered suitcase. Oh, what, yeah? Gotta work my rotten socks off if I want to make ends meet. I've got 12 silver sovereigns in my pocket and a hat full of dreams. Very nice. I enjoy the lyrics. Timothy's definitely got the whimsical Willy Wonka essence to him. I think he's done a good job so far. And a hat full of dreams. No daydreaming. No daydreaming? Bruh. How do you charge them for daydreaming? Nice. Stop. Hey, shoo. Go away. Stop. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. Stop. Sit. Sorry about tittles. You're not planning on sleeping there, are you, son? It was just for a night. By this time tomorrow, I plan to have made my fortune. By this time tomorrow, you'll be frozen solid. Yep. Perhaps it is a little cold for camping. I know someone who might be able to help you out. Really? Mm, I big feeling like this is going to end badly. Sweet home. A guest. Hmm. Oh. Mm. And well, it's Olivia Coleman. Like oh my gosh. Get out and laundry. Make yourself at home. Warm your cockles by the fire. Mr. Wonka is temporarily in Paris. Oh no, you don't, sir. And we've got just the thing for you. The entrepreneurial package. Now there's hmm. one sovereign a night, but you don't have to pay till six tomorrow. Does that give you enough time to earn a few pennies? Mm. Mr. Scrubby. Thank you. Now, sign here and we're all done. Mm. Oh, what did you say? Who's that in? Read the small print and they're... Oh, oh my god, it just oh. keeps going. He's gonna learn from this and screw over all the children. <laughs> These are just your standard T's and C's, but you're welcome to take a look if you want. I'll just give it one second. Well, that all seems to be in order. Nope, really? he can't read. Oh. <laughs> oh, then welcome to Scrubbing. No. What kind of people? Mm. I don't trust it. I think you got scam, boy. Mm. Don't ever interfere in my business again, and you'll be in this coop all week. Do you understand? Yes, Mrs. Scrubbit. Sorry, Mrs. Scrubbit. Lot of pink so too. Well, something bad's gonna go down. No. Here we go, Mama. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen of the gallery, gourmet. My name is Willy Wonka. I give to you a hover chunk. Jungle near Mumbai, there's a little hoverfly whose wings go at a thousand flaps a second, that's no lie. It beats its wings with glee, and then as you will see, the chocolate will levitate and float most gracefully. Nice. Very nice. You've never had chocolate like this. No, you've never chocolate like this very nice what an honor 
ever since I was a little boy. That is quite a handshake. It's a business handshake, Mr. Hawker. <sighs> now, come along. Let's try. Got to love the cartoony so nature all these actors got to play with. Well, Mr. Wonka, that of all the chocolate I have ever tasted. I mean, they're going to they're, they're going to say it's bad. Absolute 100% worst. Yeah, of course they are. They're businessmen. Ladies and gentlemen, an endorsement from Mr. S Wait, the worst? The <laughs> chocolate should be simple, plain, uncomplicated. I am not the biggest fan of plain old chocolate, which is what always appealed to me about the Wonka chocolate. I don't care. Give me milk, give me sugar, give me something else. I need something to fix that. So I'm perfectly fine with Wonka's marshmallowy, fudge sickle type chocolate bars because they're tastier. And I will stick with that. I mean, honestly, I'd like to hover from a chocolate. That sounds pretty nice. I'm afraid we've had some complaints about you, sir. Complaints? That you're disrupting the trade of other businesses. Yo, that sucks, though. Don't worry, it's going to a good cause. Rules is rules. Could you at least leave me a sovereign? Here. Thank you. I mean, but businesses are always like this. They don't want other people coming in and taking their Evening, business. <laughs> so. How'd it go? Will we set a sovereign? For the room, yes, but you have incurred a few extras during the course mm. of your residency with Marcel. There was that glass of gin you had on arrival. Use the stairs to get to his room and all work. Add in your mattress high, your linen lease, and your pillow penalty, and you are looking at. 10,000 sovereigns. I don't have 10,000 sovereigns. You're going to have to work it off in the wash house, ain't ya? A sovereign a day. 10,000 days? <laughs> you must be Mr. Wonka. Who are you? He runs the place. And you best do as he says or you answer to me. They got all of you too, did they? One mm -hmm. moment of stupidity followed by endless regret. It's gotta be okay. some way out of here. You don't think we've tried? If you're not here at roll call, Mrs. Scrubbit will call the police, they'll bring you right back, and she'll charge you a thousand for the inconvenience. Oh, yeah! All right, everybody, back to work. Oh. First you pick up the apparel and you stick it in a barrel. Scrub, scrub. Then you take it to the mangle and you turn the giant handle. Scrub, scrub. But when we sing this song, the day don't seem so long. Scrub, scrub. It's still long, mm. though. Yeah, I'm sure it's a really long day. If you don't agree. C clause 5. Section 7A. Paragraph 22. Part D. Which says... Scrub, scrub. Room service, told you to read the small print. You can't read, can you? I focus my studies almost exclusively on chocolate. Everything else I've relied I mean, on the fair. of strangers. How much do you owe them? 10,000. I owe 30. You took me in out of the goodness of their hearts and charged me for the privilege. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. I've never had any. Well, lucky for you, Noodle, I have a selection of the world's finest ingredients right here in okay. my travel factory. Nice. Very cool. Did you always want to make chocolate? No. Back when I was your age. My mom was I could see that. I mean, Willy Wonka kind of yeah, is yeah, like a chocolate magician. In a perfect little world of our own. We didn't have a lot of money. But each week, she brought home one cocoa bean. Mm. By the time my birthday came around, there was enough to make a single bar of chocolate. Nice. But it wasn't just any old chocolate. Far from it. What was the secret? Yeah. I never found out. She died. She's she's, she's Soon probably after dead. She fell sick. Yep. Oh, that's the was her bar of chocolate. That's the little thing he's got. Oh. That's why I'm here, Noodle. My mom once promised that when I shared chocolate with the world, she'd be right there beside me. I always hoped she'd somehow keep that promise. Nice. Oh. I wish she hadn't done that. You don't like it? It's great. I like it. It's just now which day I don't have chocolate will be a little harder. Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, you now I can't go without it. Every day for the rest of your life. A lifetime supply? A lifetime supply. What would I have to do? Just get me out of here. Are you crazy? It's easy. Mm. I'll get someone to cover my shift and you could smuggle me out in your laundry car. But just for a few hours, mind. Don't believe it, no one's gone. Sell chocolate, of course. We'll split the profits and pay off Mrs. Scrubbit in no time. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Scrubbit's like a hawk. She keeps her beady eye on everything that comes in and out of the wash house except... Oh? 
Huh. What is it? Okay. So mm. the one time she nice. The, the chocolate kind of gave her an idea. Cool. That's it, Noodle. All we have to do is find an aristocrat and slip out while she's distracted. Where are we going to find an aristocrat? Yeah. Lure them in with your chocolate. Nice. Huh. Nice. I huh? see what they did there. Huh. I got an idea. Okay. <laughs> what? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have had 150 of these. Temptation is very hard to resist. Rowan Atkinson? What the fuck is Mr. Bean doing here? Send me down. <laughs> See you later. Okay, so what's happening here? What kind of. What in the corruption? Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, Netflix. okay. One chocolatier moved on for the usual fee. We think okay. that Mr. Wonka might require a little more than simply moving on. I can't just go around roughing up your competition. I'm sorry. Well, okay. now, Chief. I can see that you're a man of integrity. Okay. Thank you. Have you got a sweet tooth? I do. A hunger that you have to feed. So, a hundred of your favorite, sorry, I'm afraid, is seven hundred boxes. That's a lot of chocolates. No. <laughs> the wretched chocolates. <clears throat> Eighteen hundred boxes. Oh, deal. Nice. Okay, so far, I feel like there have been more songs than not that have played well for the film so far. I think for me right now, it's just it is a lot of the acting that's slightly taking me out of it, less the music, but more just the acting not quite matching up with the musicality and also at the same time being too serious but also not wacky enough. I think there are more than others right now, so let's see. Don't tell me I had noticed. What? No. She's madly in love with you. Mrs. Scrubbert. Besides, mm. and why not? Look at you, fine figure of a man. You just need to tidy yourself up a little bit. Get some new clothes. Have a bath. A bath? You do know what they say. She'll be thankful for an ankle and pleased to see your knee. But if you want to make her sigh, show her some thigh. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> I was collecting laundry from Professor Monocle the other day. He's writing a book about the Bavarian royal family. Boy. And this one looked rather familiar. Hmm. Blow me. That looks exactly like Mr. Bleacher. Are you telling me Bleacher is a Bavarian aristocrat? Uh huh. Oh, go and get my <laughs> gin. Oh, so you finally managed to drag your lazy off. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> okay, that's funny. This is working well. What are you doing all the way over there? <laughs> Keeping my knees warm. Oh, why don't you come over here and have a glass of gin? Why don't you come over here where it's all hot? <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Oh my Ladies word. I present to you a brand new contraption of my creation. With Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy washy Wonka Walker, please don't make me say that again. Tittles gets to run, and I can have fun. Just popping out for a bit. I'll be back before roll call. All clear. We did it. Well done, Noodle. Nice. I can't believe now, it worked. Now get out. Last night. We saw this, and we're gonna be. Where is it? What's going on, Willie? Where are the chocolates? They've been stolen. Stolen? Mm -hmm. Who by? Stolen by who? Orange man. Who's he's the little nemesis. orange man? Dot yay high. Comes in the dead of the night and he steals all my chocolate. You don't seriously expect me to believe this, do you? What other explanation is there? That you go to sleep, mm -hmm. dream about little green man. Orange man, green hair. And while you're dreaming, mm -hmm. stuff your face with chocolate. That makes a lot more sense. Why would I ever think this would work? I've been eating all my own chocolate. Dude, if Mrs. Scrubber had spotted us, I'd be in the coop right now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But we can make more chocolate. Only problem is I'm all out of milk. Steal people's no, milk? That is stealing. For this particular creation, I require the milk of a giraffe. Fine. Oh. As a matter of fact, there's one at the zoo. <laughs> Bingo! Okay. They're not gonna just walk in there and milk it. That, my dear Noodle. So I'm very lucky that the little orange man didn't find this. Okay. Cute what little present. It? From Zoo Management recognition of your years of service. Huh. 
Well, thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Good night. All time, noodle. Hmm. Nice. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The giraffe's name is Abigail? Hey there, giraffe. Whoa! Easy now. I brought acacia mints. Hmm? Giraffes are just crazy about my acacia mints. Okay. Love more than anything else. And this Abigail. If my colleague here gives you a good scratch, do you think you could possibly spare us a pint or two of your milk? Have you done this before? Once. In Africa. He was absolutely furious. <laughs> You sure can be silly, Willie. I suppose that's Trudel, Noodle. Where'd you get that name, anyway? Doesn't matter. Mm. Oh, go on. This. It's all I have for my real parents. When I was a kid, I always hoped that I'd find my parents. Oh. And they live in this beautiful little building full of books. My mom, she'd be waiting there for me at the door and I'd run into her arms. She'd give me this big hug like she'd never let me go. Then I realized it was just a stupid dream. I know things haven't been easy for you, Noodle. They're gonna get better. I'm not gonna let you rot in that wash house forever. You promise? You gonna pinky promise? And that's the most solemn vow there is. Facts. No sweet. Up. Word in private if I may. I got a message for you, pal. Whoa! Oh what my God! Water in my ears. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Listen, truth is, I don't want to be doing this. Still got to give you a message. Sell chocolate in this town again. You're going to get more than a bonk on the head. There you go. A bonk on the head? There you go. <laughs> See you downstairs. Ah, Mr. Wonka. Not late, am I? Well, no, I'm cutting it a bit fine. As a matter of fact, Tittles has been a very good boy and productivity is up 30%. But that's not the point. The point mm. is, where have you been? And why do you smell a giraffe? <laughs> why, why do you Truth know the is, smell of a giraffe? <laughs> not just any chocolate, the best in the world. The plan is to sell chocolate and pay off Mrs. Scrubbit. That was the plan until... Oh, let me guess, you had a little run-in with the chief of police. How do you know that? Because yeah. I was Slugworth's accountant. Oh. At least. His regular bookkeeper was off sick. Okay. And I was called halfway across the country to take his place. <gasps> and that's how he ended up there. Oh, I no. just need your signature on them. Seemed a straightforward job. Until I realized there were two sets of books. Ooh. One for the authorities and one which mm -hmm. told the truth. Yeah. Slugworth. Fickle Gruber and Prodnose have been in cahoots for years. Yeah. They've been watering down their chocolate and storing the excess in a secret vault deep beneath the cathedral. There's thousands of gallons of chocolate down there, and the cartel use it to bribe, blackmail, and bludgeon the competition. But they've got you right where they want you. You can't get a shop without selling chocolate, and you can't sell chocolate without a shop. Real catch twenty two there, Wonka. Noodle, watch out. Whoa. A lifetime supply, remember? Thanks. I've got something for you too. What's this? Ah. Uh, Glass half full? It's an A. <laughs> your first letter. I'm there you go. Teaching you to read. Teach him to read. Well, I can't have my business partner eaten by a tiger. Or no. nearly eaten. So we're still partners? Sure, but I don't know how we're going to sell any chocolate. Every time the police show up, you'd have to vanish into thin air. Like a magician. It's one thing when you're on stage. You have ropes and pulleys and trap doors. There are trap doors all over the city. They're called storm drains. Um, I have to show you around if you cut me in on the action. OK. If you're recruiting, I'd do anything to get out of here and make up with my wife. And if you need <laughs> someone to handle communications, I'm your woman. I did not know she could speak. I yeah. thought you were a mime. Far be it from me to pour cold water on all your fun. But if Mrs. Scrubbit catches you trying to escape, you'll all get six months in the coop. Willie's chocolates are incredible. Oh, I pass them around. Pass them around. Trying to be noodle. I don't care how good his chocolates are. 
when do we start? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say, Barbara, is um, will you marry me? You're a lovely man, but I'm looking for someone to sweep me off my feet, you know, whisk me off to a life of adventure. Could that be you? Not with my chronic lack of self-confidence. I, I Aww. Just, do you have anything for a broken heart? So the taxis never stop. The girls think you're a flop. Your wedding okay. You're getting old. Your confidence is shot. But this should lift the gloom. My giraffe milk macaroon. Oh. I love a macaroon. I love a macaroon. Small and frightened of it all. Just eat a few of these and you'll be feeling ten feet tall. Put your hand into your pocket and get yourself some Wonka chocolate. Madam, just one kiss. Yes, please. Have you tried his new one? No. Oh, you've got to have a go. Just pop one in and everything becomes a Broadway show. Oh, put a sock in it. Make sure they're all frisked. Have you ever had chocolate like this? <laughs> nice. This is what I'm wanting. This is what I'm wanting. Commit to the bit. And illiterate. Can you tell me what this word is? Not a bit of it. I should call it quits. But you've never sold chocolate like this. Hey. If we don't get on top of this, we'll go past chocolate bucket. We'll cease to exist. We have just tied the knot. Nice. <laughs> Solid. Best we've gotten so far. Well done. Oh my gosh, he's huge! Affable. I want a man on every storm drain in the city. Are you sure? Oh my gosh. Shouldn't we be focusing on all those unsolved murders? No, 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 no. This is the priority. Bro. <laughs> that, that's actually, that was good. That was good. That was a genuinely good, good joke. Good joke. Oh, <gasps> it's the little orange man. Ooh, nice. <gasps> nice, nicely done. Funny little man who's been following me. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. Let me out of here. You have absolutely no right to go around in bottling innocent strangers. Innocent? But Hold you're on. stealing, stealing his chocolate. For years. You stole our cocoa beans. Allow me <laughs> okay. to your memory in the form of a song so ruinously catchy that it may never leave your mind. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, <laughs> we can't stop it, Tim. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee doo. I've got a tragic tale for you. Loompa land is both luscious and green, but not conducive to growing the bean. My job was guarding what little we got. You oh. came along and pinched the lot. Why don't you oh. say well, perhaps I drifted off. I'm disgraced, cast out in the cold. Till I've paid my friends back a thousand fold. A thousand fold? You gotta be kidding me! I repeat. A thousand fold! But I can't give you my entire supply. I got people counting on me. I tell you what. You let me out of here and we can discuss it. Like gentlemen. Hmm? No. Ah, thank you. Now, would you be so very kind as to pass me that um, miniature frying pan? Just kind of whack him in the head. Now, come a little closer. There we are. <laughs> what? Ow! Oh! Yeah. Oompa Loompas do not negotiate. Good day, sir. Oh, that's my last jar! I said good day. Well, okay. Yes, Noodle, but this time I set a trap, and he walked right into it. You don't believe me, do you? I mean, honestly, no, 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 definitely not. But as it so happens, we don't need to sell chocolate today. Why is that? You know that shop, the one you've been dreaming of? Oh. Oh, so what do you think, Bully? Do you like it? Noodles, just as I always imagined. No, scratch that. It's 
better than I imagined. <laughs> you mark my words, this is gonna be the best chocolate shop the world has ever seen. Woo! You won't be scrub scrubbing much longer, Noodle. <laughs> we'll all be free. Mm -hmm. As free as flamingos! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all and welcome to Wonka's. Tremendous things are in store, both literally and metaphorically. Close your eyes and count to ten. Oh, we're doing this, okay. Go wish now. Open them. Okay. Here's a store that's like no other. If it were, I wouldn't bother. A world of your own. Okay. A place to escape to. They took a little bit from Pure Imagination and then built on it in a song. I prefer the shots that are more practical in this just because it sells more of the whimsy. It's more of just, I wish they had gone a little bit more practical just because everything is so crisp and clean. But I'm enjoying the song and I like that we're getting Wonka's shop. Like it's, we're actually getting Wonka's shop. This is our home. Oh, little chocolate bunnies. Nice. I see what they did there with those cups. Oh no, is this? Oh? Mr. Wonka? Yeah? What's going on here? <gasps> oh, his hair. That's impossible. He must. Yeti sweat? Somebody Ladies did? And your attention, please! There appears to be a manufacturing error. Terribly sorry, everyone, and I know how to explain this, but it appears that the chocolates have been poisoned. Poisoned? He poisoned my child! I want my money back. I yeah. Compensation. I want revenge. Oh my gosh. I mean, they're gonna turn on you when you're no longer of use to them. This is what you get for mustaching my daughter. My God, Jesus! Damn rich people. That, I believe, is the end of Wonka's chocolate shop. Goodness. You're so wacky. It's fun. Aww. Terrible shame what happened here. Take it you're responsible? We may have encouraged Mrs. Scrubbit to enhance your creation. So why have you come? To gloat? Uh. No, oh, Mr. Wonka, I don't waste my time with that sort of thing. We've come to offer you a deal. This is the precise amount you owe Mrs. Scrubbit. Mm. This is for the number cruncher, mm. plumber. I'll say that's a fair bribe. That's a fair so bribe. Funny man. And this it's for the girl. Is for the girl. Damn. Oh, yes, Mr. Wonka. You could change her life, change all their lives. Mm. What would I have to do? Leave town. Never make chocolate again. Never make chocolate again. Fuck you. <laughs> not, not you, for but, their sake, but as them. Your own, I hope you're on board. Checking out, are we? Yeah. Ah, Mr. Wonka, your ticket. It's just one. progressively getting fatter and fatter. <laughs> It's premium economy. Goodbye, Mr. Wonka. Premium economy. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so dumb. Stop. In premium economy, I'd go first class if I were you. That's what Bumpa Lumpa's Bumpa did do. <laughs> so glad you're here. Oh, I'm not going to let you out of my sight, Willy Wonka. Not till you've paid your debt. But I bring glad tidings on that score. What's that? One more jar, and we're even. Or, if you prefer, I will accept half a jar of those rather amusing other tricks. You're out of luck. I don't make chocolate anymore. Oh dear, please don't tell me you're going to go through with this ridiculous deal. I have to. Or noodle. You should stand up to those bullies. Give them the old one-two. That's what an Oompa Loompa would do. 
know. <laughs> okay. Huh. Honestly, I gotta say though, the CG on it, pretty nice. No, nothing. Well, well done. Well, this is something because you said, huh. I'm sorry. Forget it. Huh. Oh. You did it again. Tell me what it is or I shall poke you quite viciously with a cocktail stick. Look, where Slugworth shook my hand. His ring left a mark. See? It's an A, surrounded by S's. So what? His name is Arthur Slugworth. It's probably a family ring. Yes, but Noodle has one just like it. Noodle? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Why would Noodle the orphan have a Slugworth family ring? There's only one reason I can think of. Which is? I gotta get back. Captain! Wonka, come back here. Wonka, I demand an explanation. Captain? Yep. On second oh! Sense. The explanation can wait. Good day to you. Bye! Well, gentlemen. All right, then. One dead chocolatier. God damn. Miss Bombard. Bon. Jesus! What a lot of long faces this morning. But I've got some good news for you lot. Not that you deserve it. Your friend, Mr. Wonka, done a deal with Mr. Slugworth. What? Gave up on his dream to settle your account. Mr. Crunch. Bell. <laughs> Sling your mm. friends. You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> Show mm. those words. You've been a terrible audience. Good night. And finally, Noodle. My friend, Mr. Slugworth, doesn't think nasty little urchins like you should be out on the streets lowering the tone. What so the he fuck? gave me this money. To keep you down in the wash house for good. What the and fuck? I'm only too happy to oblige. I hate hey, you! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look at a guy, Lord Bleachovitz. Lord Bleachovitz? You don't still think he's a lord, do you? Yes. Huh? We made it up, you stupid old hag! You're going in the coop, my girl! And you take them dungarees off, you, you peasant! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Noodle. Wally, I thought you'd gone. Slugworth promised you a better life, but he didn't exactly keep his side of the bargain. So I yeah. can't. We all did. Hey, Noodle! I do. Hey. All I know for certain is that you won't be safe until Slugworth is behind bars. And how exactly is that supposed to happen? You said the cartel keep a record of all their dirty deeds. In the green room, yeah. yes. So if we can get hold of that, we can prove that they poison our chocolate. Scrub it no. and bleach it, we go to jail, and we'll all be free. Nice. Where do we start? Excuse me, sir. Frickin' Rowan Just Atkinson. Just chocolate for a starving orphan. I'm sorry, my child. I don't have any on me. And have some shipments. Yes! <laughs> to Basil Bond, employee of the week. Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Oh, nice. Everything all right back there? Everything's fine. <laughs> Hi there, giraffe. Hi. Nice giraffe. Run! <laughs> oh, shoot. She just made it in. Okay. Hello, operator. How may I direct your call? I need the zoo. It's an emergency. Hello, Zoo. Oh, yeah, I think we did lose a giraffe. Okay, geez, I'll send the guys around. Nice. Oh, forgive me. Oh, that's why. Are you the cleric who called about a giraffe? Oh, clear. Nice. Oh? Um, thanks for all your hard work, Father Julius and the Chocolate Cartel. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Cool. Mm. Hello, pulpit. Father. Everything all right there? Oh, we had a giraffe in here earlier. Had to clear the whole place for about 20 minutes, but everything's back to normal. Hello? 
Anything? Nothing. Well, keep looking. It's not in here, Wooly. Just all that's down here is just a bunch of stupid old chocolate. Oh, well. We love throwing plot conveniences. Wooly, look. We did it now. God. God oh, dang. Okay. You've caused us quite a bit of trouble. You and your urchin. Yeah, but she's not just an urchin, is she, Mr. Slugworth? Your family. Mm. What? Mm hmm. What are you talking about, Wooly? Yeah, in yeah, some way. But what is it, though? You. Mr. Slugworth has one just like him. As a matter but what's fact, wrong with you? What, what in the that elitist, like. Belonged to my brother. Ah. Uh. Was he my father? A hopeless romantic is what he was. Ah, so he with a common little bookworm ah. died before they could marry. Ah, and that's why. Nine months later, your mother turned up on my doorstep, begging me to get a doctor for her sick little newborn. Instead, she put me down a laundry chute. <laughs> that's fucked up. Mrs. Scrub found me. Mm. When your mother returned, I told her you had died. She was heartbroken, of course, but uh, I gave her a handful of sovereigns and had her escorted from my property. What was her name? No, I don't think I could remember that. Her name was Dorothy. Dorothy Smith. It says so right here. I guess you did teach me to read after all. Yay! Oh, well, this is all very touching. But back to business. They're contaminating the entirety of their chocolate. I mean, I know- well, then again, this is just like extra chocolate. But still, if they want to make chocolate bites out of it, bruh, On why you dirty your chocolate? Gentlemen, considering the situation, I wondered if you'd do a good deed on my behalf. Yes, of course, Mr. Wonka. What would you like us to do? Well, I was wondering if you could give this to someone. A little orange man, about eight inches high, with orange skin and bright green hair. I own a jar of chocolates, you see. Well, I think these might be the best I ever made. Farewell, Mr. Wonka. They're definitely gonna eat Best it. Chocolate you ever made, eh? <laughs> They're definitely gonna eat it. <laughs> ah, gentlemen. Oh, just leave things as they are. Help! Help! Somebody help, please! Please help! <gasps> well, you know, there's like no way he died. Mm. You mustn't let yourself get so worked up. It's just a bit of chocolate. Correction. It was actually my chocolate. You steal from an Oompa Loompa, we take back a thousand fold. What's going on, Wally? My little orange man! What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's <song. laughs> Oh. He's going to need help getting out of the car. Joe. No. Thank goodness you're okay. I came as fast as I could. All under control. A couple of thieves broke in, but I'm afraid they met with a little accident. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that. Officer, would you kindly take a look at this? Wonka! It details every single illegal payment these men have ever made. Affable, don't listen to her. She's lying. Well, of course she is. She's not, sir. She's absolutely right. It's incredible. That sounds like a case for the chief of police. So you give it to me, Affable. I'll, uh, I'll take it off your hands, you know, save you the paperwork. I can't do that, I'm afraid, sir. Your name's your on this? Written down here. No. Uh, a lot. Gentlemen, you're under arrest. We're on. Put handcuffs on you? No. That's okay, no. All right, give me one second. <laughs> Oh, oh nice! Why are we airborne? You didn't eat any of those chocolates, did you, Mr. Slugworth? Why? Because they're hover chocks. Delayed action. Well, mm. there's a billion sovereigns of chocolate beneath our feet. We'll get the best lawyers. Bribe the judge, rig the jury. Hey, Noodle! Oh, ruin the chocolate. Ruin the chocolate! Oh! Nice. Until then, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Willy Wonka and friends, I no. you to enjoy our chocolate. Nice. Golden ticket in there? Golden note? Mm-hmm. It's very wholesome, but I'm also like, damn, but... It's never an ingredient! Watching this, Kung Fu Panda, it's never an ingredient that makes it good! <laughs> Aww. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. That's lovely. Hmm. There you go. Nice. Oh, nice. I guess it's time. Time for what? Come with me. Okay, now we're doing this. Okay. I'm like holding back actual emotions, but it's because of the power of the song. In a world of pure imagination. If you want a view. Paradise. Simply look at them and view it. Somebody to hold on to. It's all we really need. Nothing else to it. Wow. Mm. So it goes a good deed in a weary world. I was wondering if I'd see you again. Until you've paid your debt. Now, I know you tried. Lumpa Law is very clear on this subject. Until such time as the chocolate is physically in my hat. Oh. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. for saving my life. Well, I suppose that concludes our business. There it is. Good day to you, sir. Yeah, it's a shame you have to go. If I'm going to share my chocolate with the world, I'm going to need more than a shop. Well, I'm sure you will. I'm gonna need a factory. <laughs> Good luck with that. And someone to head up the tasting department. The tasting department. If you want a view, I like the look of the factory. Simply look around I like what they're doing with it. If you truly wish to be. Aww. Umpa, lumpa, dumpa de doo. I've got a little bonus for you. Abacus Crunch returned to his home. Ah, nice. Her friends, Lottie Bell to half phones. Brave Larry made a triumphant comeback. One day his ex wife saw the act, laughed a lot, and took him back. Oh my gosh. Tell. I've gone down. Well, I ain't done nothing. Oh, except poison all them chocolates. Now. What? One word and I'm done. They're gonna. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How can we help you, officer? You two are coming with me. <laughs> we ain't done nothing. You are going away for a very long time. <laughs> my last kiss, my lord. Oh, Buffy, Buffy. <laughs> 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 So that was Wonga. Honestly, that went better than I expected. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Um, still a couple of things here or there, like uh, just overall that I think were very like straightforward and surfacey when it came to the story. A lot of like plot conveniences. I really didn't like the character of Prodnos. I didn't care for the, I just didn't care for the 
very direct jokes on commenting about the jokes. It's something that I recently watched the film. It happened one night and it's the original rom-com. Uh, it's a very old movie. It came out in 1934. If you guys liked this reaction, I highly recommend to go check that one out because that movie was incredible. It's amazing. It's so funny. It's so good. And something that I comment on in there is how so many of the jokes and subtleties of them work because they never call out the joke. They just let the joke and the punchline live. They let it exist. And it's so much more comical. And something that I commented on is how movies, I couldn't think of something recent at the time, tend to make a joke and a punchline and then immediately acknowledge that punchline. And then it just kills the joke. And so his character Character basically just existed to do that and so it was very very annoying so if you want to see something really funny and very comical and awesome I'm very very proud of that video I hope that you guys check it out it's it happened one night but that's what it reminded me of other than that and a couple and a couple other like plot conveniences I genuinely enjoyed the movie it, it had heart it leaned into the silly wackiness of Willy Wonka and the whimsy and I think it did a nice job, so I had a good time with that. You guys let me know what you thought. If you've seen Wonka yet, I had a fun time with it, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys all next time. If you want to check out any more videos with me, you can click over here, you can click over there, and you can check out some of these videos. Please remember, all of you, that you deserve love, joy, happiness, and all the wonderful things in life. I wish that for you. I also really wish I had some chocolate now. Uh, I, I, I want chocolate now. This movie just made me want candy. If you guys know any chocolate, that is good like the Wonka chocolate, please let me know down below. Take care, guys. I see you all next time, and bye-bye.